Have you ever wanted to go hiking but aren't too sure what you should wear or what you should take with you? Your mate Dave says one thing but your best bud Steve swears on something else. It can all be a bit confusing at times. Luckily for you, I'm Sean from Simply Hike and here's our list of essential kit for first time hikers. Clothing. A common mistake that first time hikers make is wear their sports gear on a trail. Now a running top is probably the only thing that's okay to wear on your first hike. You'll need a pair of walking boots or shoes that offer the right protection for the trail you're walking on. Walking boots and shoes have a better grip, comfort, support, and more importantly, waterproofing, which a trainer or sports shoe won't offer. If you're not too sure what walking boot or shoe you need, then check out our walking boot guide video. You'll need to get a proper set of hiking trousers. Your skinny jeans won't do the trick. Most walking trousers are lightweight, super strong, quick drying, have UV protection and insect repellent woven into the fabric, and some even have water repellency to them. Your top needs to be lightweight, breathable and highly wickable, so no wearing your ACDC top. These types of t-shirts will keep you comfortable on the trails all day, whether it's cold or warm. Whether it's summer or winter, you'll need a midler, well at least to begin with. In the summertime, look at getting a lightweight fleece, or as they're called, a hundredweight fleece. These types of fleeces will keep that morning chill off, but you won't overheat. In the winter, upgrade your fleece to a 200 weight fleece. It will do the same job as a 100 weight fleece, but because it's slightly thicker, it will keep you warmer for longer. And the last piece of clothing is, of course, a waterproof jacket. Just like the 100 weight and the 200 weight fleeces, there are different styles of jackets for each season. What we recommend to do is buy a lightweight jacket with good quality waterproofing like Gore-Tex or Event for spring and summer times, and then layer it up for the winter with a thicker fleece or a down jacket to keep you warm and waterproof. Backpacks and day bags. Now of course you can walk the trail with your drawstring bag or what was once your school bag. The only downside is that this wouldn't be very comfortable. Hiking backpacks and day bags come in all shapes and sizes with different features. From cuts specific for women, adjustable back panels, pre-curved straps for extra comfort and normally with a ton of pockets. And all these packs have been designed and tested on all types of trails and conditions. So if you want to enjoy your hike, we'd recommend trying on a few. I mean, you can always pop down to our shop in Faversham for a store fitting. Hydration. Keeping hydrated on the trail is vital, so make sure you are carrying water. If you're looking at taking hiking on a regular basis, then stay away from using normal bottled water. Over the past couple of years, bladders have become very popular, so much so that day packs now come with a special section dedicated to them. Having a bladder means you won't need to stop and take your bottle out of your pack. You simply suck through the bladder's hose and bam, you have water. Bladders also come in different volumes from one to five liters. A good average size is one and a half to two liters. If you want to keep the pack weight down and want to reduce the overall pack size, then look at getting a classic one liter bottle. Using a bottle will teach you to be more careful with your water throughout the hike, which also does mean you won't need to go to the toilet as much. A handy add-on for water bottles is a filter, which you can use to fill up your bottle from a lake or river along your hike safely. And that means you won't need to use those tasty iodine tablets. Food. You will see every hiker brings his or her own style lunch. Some have the classic sandwiches and crisps, some just eat protein bars, or some just neck an energy drink. Being new to hiking, you won't know what will give you the right amount of energy. So try everything from protein bars, get your mum to make your egg sandwiches, thanks for that mum. You could even bring a stove and warm up some hydrated food or boil in the bag food. Accessories. So you have the clothes, bag, food, it's time to look at the smaller things. Whether you're hiking alone or in a group, you should always have a first aid kit because you never know what you're gonna bump into. No matter where you're hiking, you'll need to bring either an emergency shelter or the outer shell of your tent with the poles, of course. You'll need to be heard as well as seen, so make sure you have an emergency whistle and get a brightly colored one so you don't lose it in your pack. Whether you're walking on a trail you know like the back of your hand, you must have a map and compass for the area you're walking in. Quick tip, try and get a waterproof map. If you need to shelter, then they can keep you dryish from light rain. Keep your bag organized and dry by using different colored dry bags. Rather than rummage around your pack, you can just pull out the dry bag that you need. It's quicker and if it's raining, your kit will stay dry. No matter what sort of terrain you're hiking on, having walking poles is essential. If you're feeling tired, walking poles have a great way of pushing you forward. And if you get lost, they make a great marker for others to see. 
Even if it's summer, take a head torch with you. If you get lost, you could be walking back in the trail later than you expected. And again, having a head torch means you can be seen at night time. The same rule applies to hats and gloves. Once the sun goes down, it can be a bit chilly, so keeping a lightweight wool hat and gloves won't hurt. Sunscreen and sunglasses for all year round. Yes, summer and winter. Your eyes always need protection from the sun and the wind when on a trail, no matter what time of year, and the same goes for sunscreen. So there we have it, our essential kit list for first time hikers. Did we miss anything out? What do you take with you when you go hiking? Would love to know, so comment below. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit that bell to join the notification crew. Thanks for watching.